Hello guys, I am Mr. Nilatri Ghoshal. Today, I will give you an explanation about SMEDDS, which is stands for Self Microemulsifying Drug Delivery System. We all know that most of the drugs delivered through our oral route, and this delivery route is very much known to every patient among us. But in terms of lipophilic drug delivery system, there have some cons arise at the time of delivery and at the time of efficacy getting in our body. Actually, solubility, absorption, bioavailability, these are the cons mainly arise for the lipophilic drug delivery system. So that's why the self microemulsifying drug delivery system has been arised to develop by our scientists. So let's come to the background first. Here we can see that one dosage form which is lipophilic uh, characteristics dosage form. This lipophilic characterized dosage form is further go to the intestinal mucosa where it is absorbed and then it is further absorbed to the blood. After that from the blood to the lymphatic system this is the root of the particular lipophilic drug and this is not very much uh, useful for the lipophilic drug absorption. So uh, that's why this is very tedious one to produce the therapeutic efficacy in our body and uh, give the greater bioavailability in our body. So this, for this tediness some scientists in our pharmaceutical industry the R&D sections and the formulation and development team of our pharmaceutical industry go for overcome the problematic delivery systems for this particular lipophilic drugs to the simplest one. One day Hoare and Shulman generate a clear single phase solution by titrasonic method in 1940s. Shulman and co-worker in 1959 invent the microemulsion technique or microemulsion formulation. Here, the self microemulsifying drug delivery system is produced by mixing up the oil and drug into a particular beaker with cosurfactant and surfactant. When this oil, drug, cosurfactant and surfactant mix together properly with a certain parameters like uh, temperature, agitations, rotation speed, this type of certain parameters when follow up and then the self microemulsifying drug delivery system will produce. If we accumulate these points together, we will directly got the definitions of SMEDDS. This SMEDDS formulation is isotropic mixture. At a glance, we can see here that this is a lipid based formulation and the co-solvent used here are hydrophilic in nature. It is also an oil based formulation. The surfactant used in this SMEDDS formulation is water soluble. Here the solubility is the major factor. If we do not attention get a rise uh, for the solubility, then the sol uh, solubility will not take place in our body and then the absorption will not occur as well as as a result the bioavailability will not produce. So finally the therapeutic efficacy will not get in our body. So that's why surfactant must be water soluble. It increase the absorption of poorly water soluble drugs and as a result it gives the greater bioavailability. The drug used into this SMEDDS formulation are BCS class 2 means the lipophilic nature of the drug and uh, now come to the preparation of SMEDDS. This preparation of SMEDDS composed of three major things. Those contents include oil surfactant and cosurfactant. Actually oil is generally used in this particular uh, SMEDDS formulation because of solubilizes the lipophilic drug into the total formulation and it also facilitated the intestinal mm, lymphatic uptake. Most of the oils used in this formulation preparation are the corn oil, soybean oil and peanut oil etc. The surfactant, next is the surfactant. The surfactant actually assist the instantaneous formulation of the OYW droplets and the most widely recommended ones being the non-ionic surfactant. This non-ionic surfactant with a relatively high uh, hydrophilic lipophilic balance and less toxicity than the ionic surfactant but they may lead to 
reversible changes in the permeability of the intestinal lumen. Now the surfactant used in the formulation of SMEDDS, those are span 80, the twin compositions means the twin 80 or twin 20, these are the twin formulations and Tremo 4 etc. And next is co-surfactant. Actually the role of the co-surfactant is together with the surfactant is to lower the interfacial tension to a very small even transient negative value the cosurfactant generally used in the formulation is mostly the glycerin is used and ethanol propylene glycol these are also used in the formulation of SUMDDS next come to the method of preparation by using this type of uh, cosurfactant oil and surfactant as well as along with drug first we have to take a beaker and which composed of surfactant and cosurfactant mix properly into this beaker with taking the sufficient amount of surfactant and cosurfactant and take another beaker which consisting of drug and oil this drug and oil mix together into the into this particular beaker and this surfactant cosurfactant beaker and drug oil consisting beaker are mixed in a single beaker with maintaining the temperature into the heating plate is 20 to 25 degree centigrade with a little agitation and adding few droplets of water to dilute it at around 50 minutes after 50 minutes the micro immersion takes place next is the absorption mechanism of the drug. The absorption mechanism actually says that when the SMEDDS formulation is delivered to the patient's body from the mouth it travels through the GI tract and comes to the stomach. When it comes to the stomach like a little globules then the dispersion has been takes place. After that it goes to the small intestine and this formulation will look like this type of picture where the hydrophilic head and lipophilic tail is present and one inside core is also there. This formulation is actually transparent in nature and uh, when it comes to the intestinal sections there the digestion has been takes place. If we conclude this total mechanism then the lipid droplets contain drug is pumped and the triglyceride metabolized by lipase and which is hydrolyzed after hydrolyzing the mono diglyceride and fatty acid has been developed which is absorbed into the lymphatic system. This is all about the absorption mechanism of the SMEDDS. Next is the factors affecting the SMEDDS. First is the nature and dose of the drug. The drugs which are administered at a very high dose are not very suitable for the SMEDDS unless they are exhibit extremely good solubility in at least one of the components of SMEDDS, preferably lipophilic phase. The drugs which exhibit limited solubility in water and lipids typically with the log p values of the approximately 2 are the most difficult to deliver by self microemulsifying drug delivery system. So, the ability of the self microemulsifying drug delivery system to maintain the drug in solubilized form is greatly influenced by the solubility of the drug in oil phase. Next point is concentration of surfactant and cosurfactant. If the surfactant or cosurfactant is contributing to the greater extent in drug solubilization then there could be a risk of precipitation. Means the precipitation risk has been developed as dilution of the self microemulsifying drug delivery system will lead to lowering of solvent capacity of the surfactant or cosurfactant. That's it about the concentration of the surfactant and cosurfactant and next factor factor is the polarity of the lipophilic phase. It says that the polarity of lipid phase is one of the factors that govern the drug release from the microemulsion actually. The polarity of the droplet is governed by the HLB means the hydrophilic lipophilic balance, the chain length and the degree of unsaturation of the fatty acid, the molecular weight of the micronized drug. This is about the factors affecting in self microemulsifying drug delivery system. Next is the advantages and disadvantages of SMEDDS. The advantages are this have enhancing the oral bioavailability. It have the selective drug targeting towards the specific absorption window into the GIT. It have the protection of the sensitive drug from the hostile environment into our gut. Useful for both solid and liquid dosage form.
and uh, more consistent temporal profile of the drug absorptions. These are the advantages and the disadvantages shows that lack of good predictive in vitro models for the assessment of the formulation in the most important problems in the development of self microemulsifying drug delivery system and uh, it's have highly production cost and the formulations containing the several components become more challenging to validate and uh, last disadvantage is the highly loaded drug may have chances of leakage these are the advantages and disadvantages of smdds next is the evaluation of smdds this consists of the drug content and the drug content shows that or says that the drug from the pre-weighted SMEDDS is dissolving in suitable solvent followed by the continuous sharing of the solvent at a specified time filtered the drug content is in the solvent extract in analyzed by the suitable analytical method by using the EV spectrophotometer this is the instrument which we used for determining the drug content this is the EV spectrophotometer this is powerful formed over a predetermined lambda max value. Next is the dispersibility test. The dispersibility test of SMEDDS is carried out to assess its capability to disperse into the emulsion and categorize the size of the resulting globules. It is carried by using the standard USB dissolution apparatus 2 paddle type. 1 ml of each formulation is added to 500 ml of water at 37 plus minus 0.5 degree centigrade temperature and the paddle is rotated at 50 rpm speed and this is the picture where we can see that the dispersion has been takes place immersion is dispersed into our stomach like a small globules of the oil droplets next is the rheological properties determination the self microemulsifying drug delivery system can also be administered in soft gelatin capsule where it should be appreciable flow property for the processing the rheological properties like viscosity flow thixotropy static yield and uh, the creep value of the formulations those are the those are determined by the rotational viscometer and the digital instrument coupled with the either cup and bob or uh, coaxial measuring devices used and the viscosity determination of the self microemulsifying drug delivery system also indicates whether the system is o by w or w by o as low viscosity systems are o by w means water based product and high viscosity systems are usually W by O means the oil based product in nature. Viscosity of the formulation is inversely proportional to the dilution. Next is the thermodynamic stability studies where the physical stability of the formulation is very important for its performance as it can be adversely affected by the precipitation of the drug in the excipient matrix also. The poor analytical solubility of the formulation can be lead to a phase separation of the excipients which affects the bioavailability as well as the therapeutic efficacy. Also, the incompatibilities between the formulation and the gelatin shell of the capsule. If the formulation filled in the capsule, then it will follow, which is cause the brittleness, softness and delayed disintegration or incomplete release of the drug. Next is the heating cooling in thermodynamic stability study. The heating cooling point says that the six cycles of cooling and heating between the refrigerator temperature elevated temperature means the 4 degree centigrade to 45 degree centigrade with exposure at each temperature for not less than 48 hours are carried. Next is the centrifugation where the formulations which passes the heating cooling cycle are centrifuged at 3500 rpm for 30 minutes. Those formulation that do not show the phase separations are taken for the freeze thaw trace test. This freeze thaw trace cycle says that the, the cycle between minus 20 degree centigrade and 25 degree centigrade with storage at each temperature for not less than uh, those formulations which pass these tests uh, show the good stability with uh, uh, no separations cracking or creamy that's all about the freeze thaw stress cycle next is the robustness uh, to dilution says that the uh, it should not show any phase separation or precipitation of the drug even after 12 hours of storage and next point is 
the droplet size analysis and particle size measurement where the photon correlation spectroscopy or the dynamic light scattering or laser diffraction techniques are used to determine the droplet size of the immersion and next is the self emulsification time where the 0.5 gram of SMEDDS formulation is introduced into 250 ml of 0.1 normal HCl or 0.5% of sodium lauryl sulfate solution. The time of, for the emulsification at room temperature is uh, indicated as self emulsification time for the formulation. Uh, in the next point, we can see that uh, in vitro diffusion study where one end of the dialysis membrane is tied with a thread and 1 ml of SMEDDS formulation along with 0.5 ml of dial uh, dialyzing medium are filled with the with, within this membrane. The other end of the membrane is also tied with the thread and then allowed to rotate the dialyzing medium at 100 rpm using the magnetic stirrer of the dissolution apparatus. Then collect the reading of the sample by using the UV spectrophotometer. Next point shows that the in vitro dissolution technique where the drug release from the phase into aqueous phase by USB dissolution apparatus 2 using 500 ml of simulated gastric fluid containing 0.5% of W by V of sodium lauryl sulfate at 50 rpm and uh, maintaining the temperature at 37 plus minus 0.5 degrees centigrade. Last evaluation test is the liquefaction time where it says that uh, determination of the SMDDS formulations to melt in vivo in the absence of uh, the agitation in simulated gastric fluid, the formulation is packed in a transparent polyethylene film. Polyethylene film is transparent in nature to pack these formulations and tied to the bulb of the thermometer. The thermometer is then placed in round bottom flask in which simulated gastric fluid without pepsin is filled. The temperature is maintained 37 plus minus 0.5 degree centigrade by using the heating mantle. This is all about the evolution test of SMEDDS and the conclusion says that the lipid and oil based SMEDDS formulation OYW type of system which improve the solubility uh, property and good bioavailability of the lipophilic drug as well as it have the specific drug targeting action.